So it looks like we're on to the PAC program report. Yes. Great. And without further ado, here are the PAC teachers, Ms. Sarah Walters and Ms. Gretchen Meacham. Thank you. Well, I'm Sarah Walters. This is Gretchen Meacham. Um, and so we just wanted to give a, a brief overview of what we feel is an awesome program at the high school. Um, we're very excited to be a part of it. So, um, to start, we have a short. Oh, yep. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Short little video that um, I think that really describes our students that come to us on a daily basis. It's she and me, Jimmy. My Jess Gray and Heather Thomas. Interpreted by the students of Lauren and Davis Elementary. If she only knew, if she only knew that I had to get my little brother up and ready for school this morning, she wouldn't have fussed at me for being a few minutes late. If she only knew, if she only knew that I didn't get to eat supper last night, and only one cereal for each student, that's the rule at the school. If she only knew, if she only knew that I had to watch my little brother last night while Mama was at the park with her friends, she wouldn't have punished me for not getting my homework done. If she only knew, if she only knew that I like to make stuff to her science class, she would let us make rockets like this bedroom class. Instead, we read about rockets from a book. If she only knew, if she only knew that her rules are as long as the line at the city pool, she would make a shorter list that we could remember. If she only knew, if she only knew that my daddy left me and mommy when I was two, she would. There's a longer version, but we just wanted to give you a brief yeah. interview or view of it. It's a pretty powerful thing that what our kids come to us on a daily basis um, with. So, our first. So part of the PAC program, what we need to do is prove that the program works. And part of what we do on a daily basis is we keep a lot of data. So we can look back and we can view the students from each quarter, whether they're on the level one, level two, or level three, those levels that allow them um, extra privileges within the classroom, or we take away privileges depending upon um, what level they're on. So this is a way for us to just quick look and see how are they doing, is level or is quarter two worse than level, or than, sorry, than quarter one. Um, go ahead and click again, Ms. Sardi. Then we keep track of it on daily level, so we could go back and see per day. Let me go ahead and click the next one. And then we can go back through and then use a chart like this that will then tell us our Wednesdays worse than Fridays, our Monday mornings the worst. So we keep all of this data every single day just to help us um, see how the kids are doing. Um, so we have a student um, who dropped out in October that didn't want anything to do, it wasn't working for her, um, and had wanted nothing to do with school. So later then she returned and came back to school in November because I guess discovered that the grass isn't always greener on the other side <laughs> and ended up working very very hard um, through our program and ended up graduating um, and finishing her credits in April so and then these are just um, some pictures of our classrooms that we have um, these are uh, it's kind of this is this room that you're seeing right here are two pictures of the our this is our homey room where we have photos where the kids get to put put pictures in um, that just kind of describe themselves or how they feel they can change those when that, whenever they want. Um, the round tables is where they kind of come in in the morning. That's kind of a debriefing time for them to, that's when we get to hear everything that happened the night before. That's where that video comes in. But that's the unloading zone of, of what has happened. Um, part of our program is individual studies. So just a couple pictures that students have choices to complete their um, coursework and curriculum um, in, on an individual basis um, or on, on group work studies. 
This is the new entrance part of when you guys approved for us to have those <laughs> extra doors. Maybe you could see this and it makes a little more sense. Kids get to come in through um, the new door that leads, it's right next to the door that they get off the van. And then we have a brand new entrance that has calendars, things that they missed. Um, they can store all their papers and their books. Um, Locker is right outside of the door that is it, right outside of this door. Um, so everything is condensed. They don't, um, they have less availability to the rest of the school. They're all compacted right next to us. So um, one of the things that we do that we feel is very important as part of our program is service learning, um, teaching our students that giving back to the community is an important part of being who you are. Um, and also gives us a really, really good chance to teach how we act in the community because that, those are skills that they sometimes don't have. Um, so then these are just some of the slides of the things that we did. Um, in the fall we did um, pumpkin carving for the car care center and then we donated the pumpkins. Um, and these are just some pictures of it. Collecting bags for the food pantry. We go there every week and I take a couple of students and they donate an hour of their time on a revolving basis. Pantry pictures. Uh, Winnebago Park cleanup. We've done a lot of work for the park and rec. Um, the spring, getting outside, it's been pretty darn nice out. So, um, getting outside and cleaning up there as well. Um, we've also done um, Gillette, park. Gillette Park and the pool. So one of the toughest areas for our um, ED kids that we have found in the general ed curriculum would be was when they were in Phi Ed. And it's just, it's a much looser environment. Sometimes if they're outside, they're, you know, they can just kind of run free. And a lot of our kids were failing that class. So one of the things that we had talked about was that we wanted to have a PAC um, Phi Ed class that we would go with them and participate with them every single day. So if they're climbing the ropes course, <laughs> we're climbing the ropes course. If they're fishing, we're fishing. We might not like it every day either, but they see us have to challenge <laughs> ourselves and we're screaming or scared or crying. I, I cried when I got off the, the ropes, ropes course and then they, they say, you did it, Miss Meacham. And so Miss <laughs> Geneva Co. works so well. She has such a positive attitude and influence on our kid. She not only pushes them, she pushes us, so it's a great yes. experience. They also, in a regular ed setting, don't feel comfortable with being able to do the things that the regular ed students do. They don't take the chances they would because they don't want to look like a fool. So in their, that's in their turn. So um, it's really, it has been an awesome experience to watch them grow and watch them try things that normally they would not have ever tried. So, but Miss Geneva Co, when she knew we were coming to, to do this, she wanted to add, so these are her words, and she said, I have had a wonderful experience this year with my second hour ESS PAC class. This group of students have had a wide range of activities they've participated in with much success throughout the year. It has been amazing to see the growth of these individuals. The building, through building teamwork and communication, students successfully faced fears on the high ropes course and indoor climbing walls. Life outdoor skills have been acquired in canoeing, kayaking, biking, hiking, skiing, snowshoeing, archery, angling. Nutrition and fitness was worked on weekly throughout the year as well. These students fully participated, whereas in a regular ed class setting of 20 plus students, these students would have held, held to the back, not took advantage, and participated. We would have seen discipline problems. However, in this situation, a small group has been a breath of fresh air for the students as well as me. So. So. We well, in our slide that we had sent you, we had shared some extra pictures that I think that we thought you would appreciate. Um, different things that we've done throughout the year. So, do you have any questions? I would just say that for the, the quick reminder, the backtrack story on this new program this year, this is what we came to you last year with a proposal for. Uh, one of the problems that, uh, that Paul and uh, Sarah and Gretchen had really done a great job of identifying was that we had a population of students at the high school that we weren't able to correct behaviors. So it was a constant cycle. And so it was figuring out how can we do something different with the system so that we can break that cycle and refocus from behaviors back to academics and getting those students back on track. And so the, all of the students that are in the PAC program this year, I can count I think on one hand the number of times they've needed discipline outside of their classroom, outside of the PAC program, 
Whereas last year, almost every one of those students individually would have required both hands and many of them <laughs> more toes than I have too. So uh, it just a significant 180 turnaround. I, I had one of the students in the program uh, a month and a half ago set up an appointment on his own volition. It wasn't an assignment from them or anybody else to meet with me, to come into my office and share with me how he believes the program has gone, some ideas he has for improving it, but to really share with me in a very uh, mature and eloquent way um, what a difference it made to him and to the other students in the program. So it's just a, a phenomenal job that Gretchen and Sarah have done to, to pull this off and to, to have it run like it's been, been running for a decade when really it was their first go round. So it's a huge kudos and it's going well. I was actually in the classroom today, just yeah. by chance. But, um, one of the things that the kids do as well is the card shop, so they'll make cards for things. And one of um, the students who I recall from middle school um, had worked really hard on birthday cards that we had um, developed a plan for. And um, So I stopped in to chat with him today, and his comment to me was, I've grown up a lot since middle school, Mrs. Sardi, and he said I'm graduating next year. There was another young man, you know, everyone that was in there was working away on what they needed to, but another student said, Mrs. Artie, I'm graduating next year, you know, so they're fired up, they've got goals, um, they're working hard, it's, it's great to see. One of the neatest things was after report cards came out first semester and the kids came the next day and they sat around our round tables and they were all talking, did you pass? Yeah, I passed, I passed everything. I've never passed everything. <laughs> so that was, it was really cool to experience those comments with them and be a part of that. So it's going well. Yes. And that's not to say there haven't been challenging days. No. <laughs> say the least. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's great work that you're doing. And I know I've asked this question before. It doesn't reflect well on me that I'm asking again. What's the difference between the students there and the ones at Milwaukee Street? The ones, he, the ones that we're talking about with high school PAC, with they've been identified as having special needs and they have an IEP. Okay, so what we're doing is, as we talked about here and some of the other programs, we're trying to expand our range of services for kids because we want to make sure that every child um, gets served majority of the students over here at Milwaukee Street don't have an IEP. They don't have special needs to the level of, of behavior or passive defiance, things like that. Again, it's kind of a different, you know, it's, it's, kind of, it's like a different tool. You know, you, one tool's not going to do it all. You, know, you might think a hammer could do it all, but eventually you've got to put something together. And, and so you've got to find a different tool for different children, and that's what this is all about. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it's great work. I mean, it doesn't serve anyone well to have those students drop out. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't help them, it doesn't help us, it doesn't help the community, so. It, it also minimizes disruption in all of our classes. When you take yeah. the students that have the most significant issues, you do something that helps them find success, that yeah. helps everybody else find sure. greater levels of success. Good point. So thanks for the hard work. Thank you. Thank you. And the presentation. Thank you. Thank you.